Hey, this is Winnie with Pixel Board Games, and today we're going to unbox Mycelium, a mushroom game designed by Eric Yadvich, with art by Abby Toads, and published by Yadco Games. So let's see what's inside. I'm excited for this game. I'm pretty sure it came out on Kickstarter not long after that show came out, and I cannot think of the name of it, The Last of Us. And I saw this, and I was like, oh yeah, that's pretty cute. Let's see. Um, I have to mention they also came with um, some little uh, special wooden meeples, so I'll show those in a minute. All right. Let's see what's inside. One to four mushrooms. Two to four mushrooms. <laughs> All right. I love the artwork. Super cute. I mean, who thought you could make a mushroom cute? I don't know. But but they managed to make a mushroom cute. So let me do these little, the little meeples really quick here. I noticed they were each unique. Oops. And their design. Uh, and shape, actually. So here we go. So there's the four custom meeples. They're wooden. Those are cute. And then, let's see here. Got a game board. Let's see. Ooh, it's double-sided. Okay. Sometimes I forget to look at that, and then we go to play, and I'm like, oh, wait, what? Okay. These must be, like, your starting places. I like the artwork. It's pretty. Let's see. Draw a discard. The mushroom. That's hilarious. Okay, what's on the other side? Just a little bit... Maybe more squares? Seems like it's a more it's more shapes. So this must be oh, okay. So maybe three players on this side. That makes sense. Okay. It almost seemed like it was more squares to me though. No, I guess not. It just looked like it. I guess it was just because these were so different. It made the whole board look different. Okay. So this must be your four player side. That would be your three player side. I like that when people plan out which side you're going to be on. Godspeed does this really well where there's a side that's like for three players and then the other side's four to five. I just, I think it makes the game more balanced. So I like that. Okay. So there's that. And here's some tokens. Oops. These fall out really easily. I probably just dropped this and, oh no. Now, now of course they won't fall out. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> Okay, so I barely moved, they popped out, I dropped the whole card thing, and it's like, nope, we're all stuck. So here's some of the meeples, or some of the little tokens. I'm guessing these are like, these look like little oyster mushrooms almost to me, but they have a three on the back. So probably like a value of three. And then we've got some ones that are, see, barely touched them, that one went off the table. Some ones, I'll show you so you can see both sides. So these are like little swords. So I don't know if this is like fighting or making dinner with mushrooms. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. And then we've got two big tokens. Let's see. This, oh, this actually is like a hex token. This fits out here. Okay. And then uh, this is probably going to be the first player token. Then if that looks like that, which doesn't fit on the board, this one definitely like obviously hex token fits on the board. So we'll see what those mean. And then, oh, a little mini expansion. Okay, there's a little mini expansion booklet. That's fun. I kind of like that. And they have ways to change up the game so you can keep playing it over and over and over again. Like, those are the best ones to take on vacation. And then the rule book, which this is actually bigger than I expected it to be. I wonder how complex this is going to be. Oh, it looks like there's more meatballs. Here's some. Okay, I wonder why we got extras. Somehow we ended up with an extra, an extra, hmm, okay, well, anyway. So there's definitely some of those already. Okay, so here's, this is a bigger book than I expected. Like, I did not expect this to be so big. But it looks like maybe there's really specific explanations of stuff, um, which is nice. So that's definitely, they call it the field guide. That's adorable. Okay. All right. So anyway, there's the instructions. It's probably not going to be, there's a variant right there, a couple variants. Oh, okay. So it might not be as much as, as much as it looks like. Okay, cool. All right, so there's that. And then Emporium Shop. Huh, I guess there's things we can buy at the shop. There's little spots to put stuff. And I guess that goes on the side. And then, so like a little booklet? I don't know, Hero Mushlings. I mean, there's some cards that go in that. Okay, and then um, a little couple, oh, whoa. These might, I'm sorry, I one of those fall, I didn't realize. Okay, so here's, some for here's our player boards. I'm gonna guess they're probably the same, but it's gonna tell you like what to do. So this is sort of your player aid, also your dual layered board, and then there's the four different colors. So these are for each player. And they're um, the logo down here is different. 
That's cute. So you have all your different, all the different mushrooms. Cute. I like that the player, um, the reminders of the phase is like built into your board. That's super handy. Root does something similar to that. And there's a couple things that do that. So here's the rest of the meatballs. I already showed you what they look like, but it does look like there's four in total of each color, not just three. So there we go. Those are all pretty much all the same. Then I got some cubes. Looks like these are the only cubes I have. They're sort of a golden mustardy color. That's a unique color you don't see very often. Otherwise, they're the same cubes you see all the time. Little wooden cubes. And then I've got, wait a minute. Oh my gosh, I've got a ton of these. Are these still the same? No, some are dark and some are light. Wait, what? Okay, that's really weird, hold on. There are a ton of these, but they're different. Oh my gosh, okay, so these are like smaller versions of the originals. Let me show you. I did not realize there were different sets. Okay, so what color do I have there? Here we go. Oops, red is not blue. Okay, so here's the original ones. Wait, those are different than these over here too. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, so maybe they're all, maybe there's a bunch of different sets with different faces. I don't know. Well, anyway, here's, these are different size. So let me just show you that. And those are both different than the ones that I showed you to begin with. So the original one, which was here, I'm going to have these all mixed up. I don't know if that matters or not. Oops. These ones in the middle almost look like they got attitude. They look like pissed. So now, now look at those ones in the middle. They look kind of angry, <laughs> like angry mushrooms. I don't know what happened, but they're mad. Anyway, so there's different, uh, there's different. And then this green, what caught my attention, the only reason I even noticed they were different, well, size, I should have known this, noticed the size, but the other thing is like, um, the ink is the opposite color. So like, here's two small greens, but they're, they're similar shape, but different colors with the ink. So I'm not sure what the purpose of that is, but anyway, that's some of the, the various different meeples for this. And then there's also, oh, one of my little tokens. Also a bunch of little sticks, kind of like Catan. And there's basically in every single color. And I'm just going to show you the one because you kind of get the idea at that point. So they're just like these little wooden pieces that look like. So there's that. A bunch of those. And then now you can see most of it. There's a really nice insert as well. So, I've got a bunch of these cards. Oh, here's another token that fell out. More cards. Oh my gosh. More cards. And then just because. Ah, all these times that's gonna happen and I'm gonna faint on camera. Okay, a bunch of bags to put stuff in. And then we got a whole bunch of cards. So, I suspect some of these might be a little expansion. Here, oh, here's hero mushling mushlings. Let's see here. So that maybe goes over here on this. Okay, let's see what's in here first. That's cute. I just noticed that there's decoration all around the outside of the box too. So like little forest, kind of like where you would find mushrooms, different, each of some of the different mushrooms and, oh, that was neat. Thank you to their play testers. How cool if you're a play tester, you got your name on the box. That's really cute. Yep, yep, nice, okay. So then, here's some of the hero cards. And again, it's just, I don't know how these work, but here's a bunch of the, each one of these looks unique. The drawings are very pretty. There's definitely some time spent on the art. All right. I got some more cards. And then, oh, so here's a little, one card is like a little symbol guide. That's nice. So it shows all the different pieces, the symbols, which is really helpful. And then I wonder if they have that on the back too. No, I love that when they put that on the back, like there's all this real estate, use it. I guess this is, I mean, you could flip through these, I guess, but like this and this could have fit here. <laughs> I feel like that could have fit. <laughs> okay. So then, do we have different cards here? Whoops, no, I guess maybe they're all the same. Oh no, whoops, there's some more heroes, okay. I didn't think that was a very big deck. So here's a bunch, whoa. 
Here's a bunch more of the different mushrooms. That one looks like a Christmas tree from the distance, but whoa. Looks like a dog that needs a haircut real bad. Okay, so we go here and then here's one more hero card. So then here are a bunch more cards. I'm not exactly sure how these work, but it looks like they're benefits or maybe these are, maybe these are our player cards. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll find out. So there's those. Then we got more mushroom cards. Let's see here. So here's some more. Now these, I think I'll have the same back and I'm not sure what kind of cards they say these are. Let's see here. Mushling cards. Okay, so they're just the mushling cards. All right. So then I'm gonna guess these are different things that you can do. Woo. Bunch of different cards. Most of these look unique to me. Wow, I love that color. Super bright. So you have to figure out what all these mean, but basically just a bunch of different cards for actions. And then last but not least, I have these small cards. What are the small cards for? That's funny because the first time I saw this, I didn't even catch the fact that there was an S in there. I just said Emporium, but that's not actually right. So these cards go with this, this piece right here. And I don't know if that's part of the, one of the little expansions or if it's just like part of the regular game. Could be part of the regular game. But it looks like it's a finite resource because the cards already built in with the sold out. Like there's nothing left to have. So we'll see. Oh, and that makes sense because these cards match the frog in the corner. So that I probably could have figured that out if I flipped them over. So there's these and these are, oh, I see. Okay. So these are supplies. So there's like a backpack and a bow and a pickaxe. And there's, I'm going to guess maybe you stack each one of these or certain ones of these on the thing. And then once they're gone, they're gone. Oh, it seems like maybe there's only two of lots of them. Okay. So basically um, if you're playing with more than two people, you're never going to be able to get all the stuff, right? Flyers. How cool. Okay. Okay, so there's that one. And I think that's it. So that's everything that's in um, mycelium. I have to say I really like the, I didn't even actually look at the backs, but they're cute. The backs of these cards, but these are our player boards, which have like a reminder of all, you know, of your gameplay and then dual layered boards up here. And then there's a really cool starting token. I'm guessing it's a starting token and a bunch of little pieces, all kinds of little meeples that are, who would have thought mushrooms could be cute. I'm not a fan of mushrooms at all, to be honest with you, um, but I think I'm going to like this game. It's cute, and I'm excited to learn about it, and I really like the art. So that's everything that's in Mycelium. Thanks for watching Next Level Board Games.